Hello, good afternoon all my dear students and teachers. You are welcome to my channel exam preparation. Today I will play the audio for all the listening exercises given in the textbook. And uh, first you will get a chance to listen to the audio. After that I will help you solve the exercises. Now listen to the uh, key audio for the first Listen under listening. Namaste. Namaste. May I know your name? My name is Manju. Manju Sharma. I live near the post office. May I know yours? My name is Ranjan Mandal. I live near the bus station. Which class are you in? I study in class 6. And you? I also read in class 6. What does your father do, Manju? My father is a teacher. He teaches English in a school near our home. What about yours? My father is a businessman. He has a grocery store. Thank you and nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, uh, dear students. You have listened to the conversation and it's very easy. Now let me tell you, but uh, I hope you have already got the answer. Aranjan, the first one is, Aranjan lives near the post office. I think you know, you have heard the same. B, both Aranjan and Manju read in grade 6. Yes, in 6. Now C, Manju's father teaches in a school, you know, in a school. Now next one. Okay, listen to the recording again and write true or false. Manju and Ranjan were already good friends. This is false because because they have just uh, got introduction. They have just introduced each other. Now C, D, uh, exercise, you know, B, they introduced each other. Uh, this is true. Ranjan's father is a businessman. This is also true. Now D, both Manju and Ranjan were happy at the end. This is also true. Now, dear students, uh, you can listen to the next recording from Unit 2. Good morning, teachers and students. Here is an announcement of New Nepal Secondary School about the rules and regulations that we all should follow in the school. The winter schedule begins from today. So the school begins at 10 a.m. and ends at 3 p.m. No junk foods are allowed to bring to school. Clean your hands with hand sanitizer or hand washing soap frequently. You are not allowed to wear any ornaments like bangles, earrings, etc. School uniform is compulsory for both teachers and students. Use different dustbins to throw degradable and non-degradable waste materials as allocated. You are allowed to go to library in a fixed library period according to class, but you can visit library during tiffin time. All the students should join the morning assembly at 10 a.m. I hope you all are happy with these. Thank you. No junk foods are allowed to bring to school. Clean your Okay, dear students, uh, I hope you have fully understood the listening, fully understood the okay, this audio. Now, uh, let me help you solve these questions. Now, the name of the school is New Nepal Secondary School. And B, the school starts at 10 a.m. This is very easy. You must have heard it uh, in this recording. Now see, the students are not allowed to eat junk food in the school. The students are not allowed to eat junk food okay, in the school. Now D, the students should wash their hands with sanitizer frequently. Wash their hands, when well, you can write wash their hands. Now C, listen to the recording again and write true or false. The students are allowed to wear bangles. This is false, okay. The students are not allowed, they are not allowed to wear bangles or any ornaments. Now V. The school uniform is compulsory only for students. This is also false because you might, you must have heard in the recording 
school uniform is compulsory both for teachers and students so this is false now let's see different types of dustbins must be used for different waste uh, this is also true now the the students are allowed to visit the library in snack time yes snack time is also allowed this is also true now listen to the next recording and answer, try to find the answer okay dear students uh, you have heard you have listened to the conversation and now the first question let me uh, let's try the participants of the conversation are Deepak and Carol C A R O L you can see Carol the participants of the conversation are Deepak and Carol and next B Deepak's plan is to start computer class you must have heard that Deepak's plan is to start computer class now she Deepak wants to learn using the email uh, because you know his uncle is in the US now D Deepak's uncle lives in the US USA now E Deepak thinks that he doesn't want to waste his time on social site so these students uh, you have got the answer I think we have already got now uh, you can listen to the next recording from next unit Gaura is a very popular festival celebrated in the western part of Nepal. It generally falls in the month of Saun or Bado. People worship Goddess Gauri, the wife of Lord Shiva, to pray for the good health and longevity. The women do fasting to wish for their husband's long life and prosperity. They worship the goddess for the peace and prosperity of the whole family. Devra dance is a major attraction on the occasion of Gaura. People enjoy a lot dancing Devra forming circle and holding hands with the typical traditional music. Gaura is a very popular festival celebrated in the western part of Nepal. It generally falls in the month of Saun or Bado. People worship Goddess Gauri, the wife of Lord Shiva, to pray for the good health and longevity. The women do fasting to wish for their husband's long life and prosperity. They worship the Goddess for the peace and prosperity of the whole family. Devra dance is a major attraction on the occasion of Gaura. People enjoy a lot dancing Deura forming circle and holding hands with the typical traditional music. Okay, uh, dear students, you have listened to the conversation and listen to I'm sorry, listen to this narration about Deura. So here Gaura is a very popular festival in the Western Nepal. So now we have to choose the right word, Western here. Now B. It falls in the month of Bhadu. Okay, Shaun Sh Sh and Bhadu. The first one is Correct answer. Now, see, women worship Gauri, no? you know, Gauri. Yes, Gauri, not Shiva, you know, Gauri at the festival. Now, listen to the recording again and write to us. No. Men fast at Gauri festival. That's wrong, that's false. This is no, you can say no here. Devra is performed on the occasion of Gaura. This is also true. And Devra is played with traditional music. This is also true. <music> Hello Subham, how are you? Hi Ivan, I'm fine. Why are you so sad today? I have lost my pencil box. I could not get it. Oh, then you should tell it to your class teacher. I told her, but it was not found. Why don't you ask your friends in the class if they are found? How to tell them about it? I'm afraid. No need to worry. If I were you, I would go in front of class and tell it loudly to all. That's a good idea. Thank you Subham. It's my pleasure to help my friends. Okay, now uh, the, uh, you have listened to the conversation. The students see now. Let's first uh, uh, solve these exercises. Now, first, Ivan and Sugar. Okay, um, first of all, we'll do the first one. These students. Okay, first exercise. Okay, this one. So here, uh, this is the fill in the blanks exercise. Ivan has lost his pencil box. I think you have got 
we have already got the answer ivana has a lost his pencil box now we first susan uh, Subham advised Ivan to tell about it to his class teacher. Class teacher here. And here see Ivan told it to the teacher, but it was not found. See here, it was not found. F O U N D found. D Ivan finally told that it was a good idea to tell all his friends. It was a good idea. Now we can uh, choose the correct answer, take the best answer. Ivan and Subham are friends. They are friends. Now we Ivan was uh, afraid of telling it to the fr other friends. Ivan was afraid of telling it to other friends. Now see, Ivan advised Suam to go in front of the class and say it loudly. Dear students, now listen to the next recording. <laughs> Earthquakes are sudden shaking of the earth. They are usually caused when rock on the ground suddenly breaks along a fault. During the breakdown, a large amount of energy is released. This sudden release of energy causes the seismic waves that make the ground shake. When two blocks of rock rub against each other, they stick a little. They just don't slide smoothly. The rocks catch on each other. The rocks are still pushing against each other but not moving. After a while, the rocks break because of all the pressure that's built up. When the rocks break, the earthquake occurs. During the earthquake and afterward, the plates of blocks of rock start moving. They continue to move until they get stuck again. The spot on the ground where the rock breaks is called the focus of the earthquake. The place right above the focus on top of the ground is called the epicenter of the earthquake. Okay, dear students, uh, you have listened to the recording. Now we can uh, we have to fill in the blanks. Number one, earthquakes are caused by the breaking of underground rocks. Now we the seismic uh, seismic waves the seismic waves make the ground shake. See the rocks break due to the build of pressure. D the rocks continuously move until they get stuck again. E the underground point where the rock break is, breaks is called focus of the earthquake. Now in F, epicenter of the earthquake is right above the focus on the top of the ground. Now, these students, uh, please listen to the next recording. Good evening, it's me again. Now listen to the weather update of the major cities of Nepal in the last 12 hours. Maximum temperature of Birat Nagar was 32 degrees Celsius and minimum was 19 degrees Celsius. The maximum temperature of Janapur was 34 degrees Celsius and minimum was 23 degrees Celsius. In the same way, maximum temperature of Kathmandu was 26 degrees Celsius and minimum was 13 degrees Celsius with 25 millimeters of rainfall. Similarly, maximum temperature of Pokhara was 27 degrees Celsius and minimum was 12 degrees Celsius with 20 mm of rainfall. Maximum temperature of Butabal was 33 degrees Celsius and minimum was 21 degrees Celsius. And finally, the maximum temperature of Birendra Nagar was 25 degrees Celsius and minimum was 13 degrees Celsius with 10 mm of rainfall. That's all for today. Danagao was a remote village 10 years ago. There used to be small houses with thatched roofs. There were no transportation facilities in the village. People used to go to town for medical treatment. There were no hospitals in the village. People used to carry sick and wounded people in the stretcher to hospitals for treatment. There was only one school for the children of the whole village. Children used to walk on foot about two hours to reach their school. There was no electricity in the village. But now, many things have been changed in the village. There are big concrete buildings. There is a road for transportation in the village. People can use mini buses, trucks, cars, taxis, motorbikes, etc. for transportation. There is a hospital and some medical centers. Now, they can use ambulance to take a person to hospital. 
There are five schools in the village. Children can use school bus and van to go to school. There is the facility of electricity too. Danagao is a developed village now. Hello, Pascal Restaurant. It's me, Rama. How can I help you? Hello, Rama. It's me, Raul, speaking. Is your restaurant open? Do you have home delivery service? Yes, it is open and we do home deliveries too. Where is the location? I live at Santi Chok. It takes around 10 minutes on foot for you to reach. Okay, what do you want to order? Well, three plates of vegetable momos, a plate of chicken chow mein and two plates of french fries. Sure sir, it will take 30 minutes to deliver. Okay, and what is the bill amount? Just a few seconds. It's 510 rupees for food and 50 rupees extra for delivery. That means 560 rupees in total. Thank you. I'll be waiting. You're welcome, sir. Thank you for the order. Hi, I'm Rehan. I would like to learn cycling, please. Hello, I'm Sonam. Have you ever ridden a bicycle before? I did it once last month, but I don't have much idea. Well, in that case, you can start with the basic course. Alright, when will the next class start? Um, today is 15th September. It will start on 17th, Monday. Great. What time should I arrive here? The class starts at 7 a.m., so you must be here by 6.55 a.m. Okay, anything else? Yes. You have to fill this form and need your guardian's signature too. Thank you. I'll get it and we'll contact you. Bastian. Hi Nirmala, I'm really sorry that I could not attend your birthday party. I know that you might be angry with me. My dad had a severe headache just before I was going out to the party. I had to take him to hospital. I stayed there all the night. That is why I forgot to make a call to let you know about it. Today, we have brought him back home. Thanks God, he is now getting better. The doctor told me that he would be alright in a few days. Now, I would like to invite you to have a lunch together on Saturday. We will meet at a restaurant at Milanchok, close to our home. My dad will also join us. Sorry again and wish you a happy birthday. Hello, a teaching hospital inquiry. Pemba is speaking. How can I help you? Good afternoon, Pemba. My name is Purba Lama. I'd like to make an appointment with Dr. Raghu Yadav for Tuesday morning. Can you please check his schedule? Sure, let me find it out. Mm, I'm sorry, Dr. Yadav will not be available for Tuesday morning. He will reach the hospital only by 2 p.m. Is it okay for you? No, I can't make it. I have my office from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. What about at 5.30 p.m. in the evening? Yes, it will be available at that time. Can I register your name? Great, that works for me. Thank you. Hello, I'm Umesh. Here is the price list of the fruits and vegetables at Kalimati Fruits and Vegetable Market. Potato, Rs. 45 per kg. Cabbage, Rs. 35 per kg. Onion, Rs. 45 per kg. Radish, Rs. 30 per kg. Pumpkin, 
रुपीज ट्वेंटी फाइव पर के जी ब्रकोली रुपीज फिफ्टी पर के जी स्वीट पोटैटो रुपीज सेवेन्टी फाइव पर के जी टमेटो रुपीज फिफ्टी पर के जी क्यारोट रुपीज सिक्सटी फाइव पर के जी काउली फ्लावर रुपीज थर्टी फाइव पर के जी ब्रिंजल रुपीज थर्टी फाइव पर के जी लेडिज फिंगर रुपीज हंड्रेड थर्टी फाइव पर के जी मशरूम रुपीज हंड्रेड फोर्टी फाइव पर के जी गोवर रुपीज सिक्सटी फाइव पर के जी Good afternoon. I am Sita. We have Dr. Ali in our studio today as guest. He is a well-known meteorologist of Nepal. We will talk about the weather forecast of the week. Hello sir. Namaste. What do you think of the weather tomorrow? I think the weather will improve in most of the districts. Do you think there will be rainfall in the upper hills? Some districts of the upper hills may face rain by tomorrow afternoon. However, there is less chance. What do you think will happen in the Tarai? The Tarai will have sunny days for a week. Is there any probability of rain at the weekend? No, on the basis of the reports available, it's not going to rain. Dear students, do you like black tea? Today, I am going to tell you how to prepare traditional black tea. This is how we prepare black tea. First, put a cup of water in a saucepan. Then, boil the water on a medium flame. After that, put 2 to 3 grams of tea leaves after the water boils. Next, add some sugar and flavor as per your taste. After that, Let the tea boil for 3 to 4 minutes. Then, let the water soak the leaves before serving. Finally, pour the tea in a teacup and enjoy. Enjoy.